Now, I'm going to explain it, but really, it's very simple. All you have to do is remember the setup. Um, you don't even have to worry about drawing the picture, but I'm going to explain the picture to you. So, we have a force of 30 pounds that keeps a box from sliding down the ramp that's inclined at 20 degrees. Okay, so in this triangle here, we've got an inclined ramp at 20 degrees, box is sitting on. Alright, now, this triangle right here, first of all, this, this, uh, this vector right here that is perpendicular to the ground, okay, is your weight. Okay, weight is a force. Weight is mass times acceleration. Acceleration is due to gravity. So it's the force that is perpendicular to the horizontal. So that's the weight. Now, there is a force that is acting on this box. Well, using parallel lines, and I drew it on purpose, that force is the same as this vector at the bottom of this triangle. Now, this side that is perpendicular to the plane, the inclined plane, this vector is something called the normal force. You don't have to worry about that. If you've taken physics or will ever take physics, you will talk about the normal force. Uh, we're not going to focus on that. Okay? We're just going to focus on the force and the weight. Now, this angle is the same angle as the inclined plane. It's very complicated to explain. It has to do with parallel lines and intersecting lines, and the picture is very, very complicated. Just take me on faith that it's the same as the inclined. So we've got a little right triangle right here. So in relation to this angle, what side is the force? The opposite. What about the weight? The hypotenuse. So which trig function are we talking about? Sine. The sine of the angle is equal to the force over the weight, the opposite over the hypotenuse. That is all you have to know about these products. If you see an inclined um, ramp or whatever, um, this is the setup. The sine of the angle is force over weight. How can you remember that? Alphabetical order. Force over weight. F comes before W. That's one way that you can help in your math. And then we just plug in the specifics. Okay, what do we know? We know the angle. The angle is 20. The force is 30 pounds. We were asked for the weight. How do we solve for the weight? Mm, be careful. Multiply by W and then divide by the sine of 20 degrees. Okay, those two things kind of just switch places. So it's 30 divided by the sine of 20 is the weight of this box. So the weight of this box is about 87.7 pounds. Okay, pretty hefty box. <clears throat> um, now, you could be asked for the force. You, you can be told the weight and the angle and be asked for the force required to keep it from sliding down um, or to start sliding it. I don't think that I asked this on the worksheet, but I could see them asking this. They could give you the force and the weight and ask you for the angle. Okay, you know the right side of the equation. You use the inverse sign to solve for the angle. Um, that, that is also a possibility. Okay, so um, try number seven, they're on your paper.